What's good, Jack Nation? It's your man, just another G with JD Solutions, and we're back with another one. If you're new, welcome to the channel. If you've been here for a little bit, welcome back. Today, we'll be going over how to install the EK Momentum 2 ROG Strix Z690i Gaming Mono Block. One last thing before we get started, don't forget to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. And with that, let's get hot. We're going to start by removing these six M2 two and a half screws from these locations here, here, here. here and here after removing these six screws we're going to flip the motherboard back over and we're going to remove the two m2 by two and a half millimeter screws from the aisle fan cover here and here we're going to carefully remove the aisle fan cover because we're going to need it later and we're going to remove the two screws from the n.2 slot cover here and here You'll then proceed again to carefully detach the stock cooler while at the same time unplugging the VRN fan connector from the motherboard right here. Now that we have that cooler detached and the fan disconnected, we can go ahead and unbox the Momentum 2 and prep for installation. The EK Momentum 2 ROG Strix Z690i Gaming Mono Block is a mon Quantum Line Mono Block specifically designed for this motherboard. Featuring the newest Velocity 2 cooling engine with low restriction and high performance. This is the complete all-in-one liquid cooling solution for Intel 12, 13, and 14 Intel CPUs. Removing a protective foam from the monoblock here is the monoblock itself, along with this new heat sink for the board VRMs. They provide you with some thermal grizzly and some thermal pads. After cutting the thermal pads down to the appropriate size, you're going to install them here, here, here. Forget, you gotta peel these little blue covers off so that way they can make contact with the cooler itself. Next, we're gonna install the CPU. Don't forget to orientate the gold triangle on the CPU with the triangle on this PMP cover here. So let's pop open the CPU socket and line up our triangles on the bottom left corner of the socket. We're gonna go ahead and close the cover and lock the 13900 in place. Next up, thermal paste. In the infamous X pattern, Let's not forget the four dots so that way we're going to make sure that we completely cover the IHS once we install the mono plug. Next, after moving your monoblock black plate, you're going to go ahead and install the monoblock like so by aligning the mounting holes with the four pre-drilled mounting holes onto the motherboard. You're going to have to hold it in place, so don't forget once you flip the motherboard over to install the rear bracket to keep that monoblock as steady as you can. I'm using the special screwdriver by EK that works like a torque wrench, so it won't torque anything down too much and just at the right point, which is a plus, so I totally recommend it. It'll be down in the description box. Wrapping up things, we'll go ahead and now remove the old side covers from the stock heat sink by removing these two screws and the other side of the heat sink. With these side covers removed, we're going to go ahead and do the opposite and install them onto the new heat sink in the same locations as the old one. Coming down to the final stretch of the installation, and after we get these last few screws back reinstalled onto this heat sink, we're going to go ahead and reinstall the actual heat sink onto the actual motherboard. Now we're going to go ahead and install the new thermal pad that's going to cover the SSD. Once we get this new thermal pad in place, we're going to go ahead and install it over our SSD. And just don't forget to remove this cover off of your thermal pad. So. 
Sometimes we can forget. Sometimes I forget. Next, we're going to go to reinstall the heat sink onto the motherboard, starting with the screw here. And once complete, we're going to go ahead and flip the motherboard over and continue the reinstallation of the following screws on the back of the board, starting here. Here, 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 and here. Oh, and also here. I flip the motherboard back over and we'll install the VRM cover for now just for aesthetic purposes so it didn't go with the flow of the motherboard. Alright, we're going to reinstall the screws here and here. And last, but definitely not least, we'll go ahead and peel this protective cover off. And just like that, we're all done. I hope this works out as easily as it is for you as it did for me. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next.